Hi, my name is Katerina, and today I'll be telling you about the effects of VAT on real estate assets and the property market. There are three types of VAT that we'll discuss. VAT exempt, zero rated, and standard rated VAT. VAT exempt is when a good is not subject to VAT. That means that the suppliers of this VAT exempt good are not able to reclaim VAT expenses from their inputs. For example, an old residential unit. In other words, the property hasn't just been handed over from the developer. Zero rated VAT means a good is subject to VAT at a rate of 0%. Unlike the VAT exempted good, the zero rated VAT goods suppliers are able to reclaim their VAT expenses. An example of the zero rated VAT would be a first residential sale or lease. In other words, the property has just been handed over from the developer. Standard rated VAT means a good is subject to VAT at a rate of 5%. An example of this would be an office lease or sale. In this last example, I'm going to show you a discussion between a client and her advisor on how the VAT may affect her as a property developer. Keep in mind, we're focusing on the development market in this instance. As you know, we have a number of properties around Dubai and we are looking to expand our portfolio and develop a residential building in Business Bay. We've heard that they're introducing VAT. Will it have an impact on our construction costs? Indeed it will, since your construction costs will now be subject to VAT. However, since your first sales and first leases of residential property are zero-rated VAT, you will be able to recover the VAT from the purchaser. That's good news! But what if we wanted to construct a commercial building? Would the VAT have the same effect in that case? Yes, your construction costs will be subject to VAT and so will your commercial properties, sales and leases. However, you will be able to reclaim the expenses from the purchaser. So how is this going to affect me as a developer? It will affect your cash flow. But you said that VAT is recoverable? Yes, it is recoverable. But the speed at which you pay your VAT and the speed at which you recover from the first sale will differ, therefore impacting your cash flow and in turn affecting its value. Now that we have witnessed some of the possible scenarios that might occur due to the introduction of VAT, it's time to talk about some of the medium and long-term effects of VAT on the property market. VAT could potentially lead to an increase in residential rents. As for medium to long-term effects, landlords may increase rent in order to negate the effects of the VAT that they will now be subject to. However, we should keep in mind that any increase on our existing lease would have to be in line with the RERA rent cap. We may also see an increase in demand for secondary office locations, since office occupiers will now be subject to VAT and would now seek more affordable ones. However, we don't expect this to affect global corporates who will continue to seek grade A office space throughout the central business districts of Dubai. In conclusion, the VAT law is yet to be introduced, so all the scenarios viewed are based on our current understanding of what the law may entail, which is subject to change.